So Einstein said, imagine there's a train car that's going by, right? And the train is in position one, then it's position two, then it's position three. These are just three snapshots of where the train is as it moves from left to right. And then he said, imagine there's a person on this train, that's person A, and there's another person on the train tracks or to the side just watching this train go by, and that's person B. Now imagine this train's wall is invisible so that person B can see what's going on inside. And let's say there's a laser that fires at point one. So at this instant, the laser shoots straight up, hits the ceiling, and then bounces back. Well, what's person A going to observe? They're gonna look up and just see the laser hit the roof and come back down. And so the laser travels up a distance of L and another L to get back, so a total distance of two L. But the person standing and watching the train zip by, they're gonna see the laser shoot up and it's gonna hit the ceiling and then it's gonna hit the ground again. So from their point of view, the laser actually traveled a much greater distance. And so when you look at the time that went by for person A versus person B, it's very clear that for person B, because it traveled a much greater distance at the same speed, much more time must have gone by for that person compared to person A, which means that time actually slowed down for the faster moving object and it was a very different rate of time passage for the person standing still.